Hai, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And a very good day to all of you. Okay, so finally I am here uh, to explain to you in this video about assessment 4 that is the written proposal. Okay, so now that you have completed your group discussion or you have come up with the problems for your group discussion for assessment 3 this time around you are going to write a proposal so this is actually a continuation from assessment 3 whereby after you have discussed about the problems that happen at the workplace now you have to come up with a proposal uh, to propose a program or any kind of activities that could actually help you to solve the problem that you have discussed in assessment 3 okay so now let's take a look at what uh, the final assessment assessment 4 is all about okay now this is a group assessment you are already in your group between uh, between three or four people Okay, so the course outcome of this assessment is to propose a new initiative in a professional setting, in verbal and in also in writing. Okay, so the objective of the task, it is to train you all to identify an organizational issue or problem and recommend appropriate solutions through written proposal. Okay, so that is the objective of this task assessment for. Okay, now let's take a look at what is a proposal. A proposal is actually a document that offers a solution to problem or a course of action in response to a need. Proposal comprise of introduction, um, first introduction uh, followed by problem statement, results of service, significance, budget and so on. A proposal aims for project approval, fund or grants to carry out a proposed project. So as I have mentioned before, now that you have uh, discussed about the problems that happen at the workplace, you also provide solutions to overcome the problem. Now imagine you are writing a proposal and send it to the head of the company or the director, the company's director, for you to ask for some budget so that you can come up with activities and program so that you can actually help to improve or help to further solve the problem that you have just discussed uh, within your group discussion. Okay, so how to write the proposal? So first you have to identify the org organizational issues or problems as covered in assessment tree. So now you have already decided what the issues is going to be. Uh, whether it's bullying, whether it's moonlighting, or could it be um, sexual harassment, or could it be um, lack of facilities at the office. Okay, so you have already identified the issue. Now moving on to the second step. Next, you have to explain the org organizational issues or problems in relation to the theories of workplace interaction. Okay? Okay, step number three. Uh, step number three. In this proposal, you uh, you have to provide a new initiative to overcome these org organizational conflicts to improve an organizational setting based on the theories of workplace interaction. And finally, you have to produce a written proposal of 450 to 500 words. Later, I will show you and I will also provide you with the sample of the written proposal. Okay, so this is the scoring guide. For your proposal, the, pro the final marks for the proposal is 20%. For your uh, group discussion or assessment 3, the, f the marks is 30% and the marks is not the same for each member because it depends on your uh, ability in your language so probably it's not going to be the same. Okay. However, for assessment 4, for your proposal, the marks will be the same for all of your group members. Okay. So within that 20%, you are going to be graded 10% based on your language. Okay, so how to get as much as 10% is when you can produce clear, smooth, flowing, well-structured text in an appropriate 
and effective style. Okay, six marks for your content. The proposal has excellent clarity and coherence. And finally, four marks for your organization. Make sure that you can organize and link ideas effectively. So how to do this? Usually by using cohesive devices or transitional signals or linkers. Okay, or in Malay, what we call penanda wacana. Right? Okay, so that is the scoring guide. Now moving on. So this is the content for your written proposal. Okay, first you have you need to have the introduction paragraph. So what is uh, what should you write in the introduction? First is the overview of the problem, uh, the importance. Next, what is the solution? And finally, how the solution can improve the organization. Okay, so all of this you have covered in assessment three. So instead of having them in a script form, you just have to convert it into paragraphs. Okay, next you you need to have the statement of problems, description of the problems and how it affects the organization. So what is actually the problem? Okay, describe uh, how long this has this has been going on and what happened if this problem keeps on happening and nothing to be done to overcome this problem okay next is the objective so what is the objective of the whole proposal so obviously the objective is to help overcome the issue that is happening if it's about bullying obviously it's uh, the uh, the proposal is to propose a program that can actually stop bullying from happening so probably it's to create awareness about bullying at the workplace or probably it's about uh, to encourage people to come forward when it happens okay so I write a few um, outcomes objectives I think about three objectives is already enough right okay next you need to mention the staffing the number of employees and participants involved so just like any other proposal, if you are um, if you are familiar with proposals, if you are active with organizations and clubs, you know that um, in a proposal you need to mention all of the urusatia, all of the AJK, or okay, or, or the committee members that is involved, and also who are your target participants? Uh, is it going to be uh, the workers, or is it just going to be the new uh, the new staff, the junior staff, or or is it going to involve all of the uh, employees within the same company okay and how do you select the participants why do you choose these people to be the audience or to be the target uh, people for your program okay next you need to do some evaluation so obviously uh, for this particular uh, area okay let me explain it to you first how to do the evaluation you need to use some instruments used you need to use some instruments to get feedback you can ask questionnaire or you can conduct an interview or you can just do it based on your observation so obviously this is not a real um, evaluation that is taking place at the workplace if it's a real one then it's easier for you to just conduct an interview or conduct uh, a questionnaire ask people around but since this is not so this is not real you just have to come up with uh, some of the feedbacks or the percentage of what do people think about the problems or how if you're talking about bullying okay how many people are affected by bullying uh, how many percent people have ever accounted bullying while working at the company or if it's about motivation how many people have l low motivation okay so just uh, come up with a number but make sure that it is make sure that it's how do you say it's logical okay all right next is what is your solution or the method okay what the what is the program is going to be is it a talk or a seminar by a well-known person a celebrity or is it a you know well-known motivator or any social media influencer or is it going to be like a training training uh, if you are covering topics such as uh, lack of training uh, among the staff so is it going to be a physical training or online training but now since we are amidst the pandemic uh, during this MCO period and um, COVID-19 I think 
it's more logical and to be safer is to conduct everything online okay all right so you have to decide whether it's going to be a uh, team building or is it going to be a talk is it going to be a seminar is it going to be a forum is it going to be or any other program is it going to be a presentation is it going to be a competition okay so if it's a competition what kind of competition um, essay writing competition or video TikTok video competition just to create awareness or uh, is it going to be any um, drawing competition coloring competition okay so it's up to you um, you can discuss on what the program is going to be but if I, I open this to not just restricting the program uh, um, during the pandemic but you can also create a program let's say that we are not during MCO let's say that we are okay to travel and to have um, you know to together uh, with a group of people so feel free to come up with a team building program where you can go to some resort or hotel you know just to get away or you can go camping in, in the forest or in the rainforest or you can go to waterfall you know okay so just or you can also have programs such as fun run um, marathon you know organize that kind of program charity run okay so all all any programs that ca you, that you can think of so don't just restrict yourself to mco yes if you are focusing on webinar and also um, online uh, talk or seminar uh, you know it is acceptable but if you choose to have a program that is also uh, physical that is also acceptable okay okay next you have to come up with a budget so the budget will be uh, compiled as appendix so in the budget what you need to have is um, the detailed uh, expenditures that you're going to spend on the program if you're having a program at a hotel for example or a resort so you need to have a certain amount of money uh, to spend uh, you know uh, at the resort how much do you need to pay for the resort how much do you if you are asking a celebrity to give a talk so how much do you need to pay the celebrity so everything needs to be detailed in the budget next you need to discuss about the limitations so what are the limitations is it the participation is it the budget is it the commitment you know that's what I said participation commitment means if you are having for example a three days a team building somewhere in a rainforest at Taman Negara for example so can everybody give commitment to that knowing that some people have families you know some people have small children at home so is it going to be a problem f for them to participate in this program or not okay so that can be uh, some sort of a limitation to your program as well okay finally the conclusion the expectation or what the team hopes to achieve so the four of you or the three or the four or the five of you are going to combine together and as if you are the working committee members to come up with this program okay all right now let's take a look at a sample uh, the sample of proposal and also some notes that is related to this assignment okay first um, I will give you these notes proposal of a new initiative in an organizational setting so you are going to read what is proposal the types of proposals okay and what are needed in a proposal the components you know the introduction just like I said before this problem statement you know the description of the project the budget the limitations and also finally the conclusion okay so how to prepare a proposal so you can actually read this on your own there are also uh, some examples okay so this uh, use this as your guideline uh, before you finalize the proposal okay so this is the review of the components of the proposal make sure that you have the introduction okay I think introduction could be one page uh, problem statement one page that is enough project description one page uh, the budget maybe one to two pages okay all right so 
Okay, so read this on your own and make sure that you use this as a guideline for you to write your proposal in writing your proposal. Okay, now this is a sample of a, pro uh, a proposal. Let's say for this sample, this is a proposal to purchase a new multifunction digital copier for the organization. So first read the introduction. Okay, what is the uh, introduction is actually uh, a simpler version of the whole thing. So first, what is the aim of the proposal? Next, we have the problem statement. Okay, the existing com uh, photocopy machine is very old and does not work effectively. It has minimal functions. Okay, so it it's going to be very difficult for people to actually complete their work. So you need to have a new photocopy or printer machine. Okay, so this is the uh, the bar chart. Okay. Employees who are not able to submit their tasks on time in the year 2015. To, so you can see from August to December, the number of people who are not able to submit their tasks on time keep on increasing. So if you add more here, January 2016, you can actually see the trend is going to be uh, higher and higher. So this has to stop. Why? So you can explain it in the significance part. So what is the budget? Obviously, you need to have the budget. Okay, you know, uh, different types of model. Why? What are the functions? Okay. So and then finally the conclusion. So this is a proposal to buy a new machine. So if this relates to your problem from your group discussion, then you can use this as a guideline. Okay. Now let's take a look at some of other uh, sample of proposal okay now this is another proposal so this is a proper one okay first you have the cover and then you have the table of contents okay okay so this is the summary of the whole project so it is about uh, bullying the problem is about workplace bullying Okay, so where it's in a hotel. So the participants, who are the participants? Okay, so they listed out the participants. Okay, so this is the committee members and also the job scope. So this is the, the name of your group members, huh? right? Who is the director of the program? Okay, group member one here. This is group member two, group member three, and also group member four. So this is the introduction of the project. Bullying is generally defined as why. Okay. So if your problem is related to this uh, problem, such as um, sexual harassment, or it could be about uh, moonlighting, you know, uh, low work motivation. So probably it's related to this. So statement of problem. Okay. So what is the problem? Who has been, how many cases of bullying has taken place? Uh, what happens between, you know, who, which staff and also which staff? Okay, then you have the survey, the statistic. So are you happy working here? Okay, so you just can, you know, you can just uh, come up with a few questions and then the percentage you can do it in a bar chart or y you can use pie chart you know as the uh, to as the statistics why do you need to have this this is to show that your problem is actually it does exist based on the survey it, it's not something it's not a hearsay it's not just an assumption based on a personal opinion from people you know okay all right uh, so provide the objective as I said mm, just three objectives is enough and also the budget so this is just the rough budget it's not a specific one yet so who are the staffing Okay, so program method. So they invited two motivational speakers. The first is Dr. Haji Tengku Ismadi, and the next person is uh, Muhammad Fauzi Nordin. Uh, 
So make sure in the budget you mention uh, how much you are going to pay each of the um, presenter or the speakers here. And bear in mind you don't have any specific amount of budget. There's no limit to your budget. You can just go as high as you want to but make sure that it's logical. So you know for example Tengku Asmadi is a well-known motivational speaker probably it's going to take a few thousand ringgit f just to get him to give a motivation or to get him to talk for about two hours for example as compared to Muhammad Fauzi I'm not sure so pro Muhammad Fauzi is uh, a consultant okay so obviously uh, a few thousand ringgit as well okay so it's not it cannot be like few hundred ringgit it cannot be like uh, hundreds of thousands ringgit uh, okay so if you're talking about uh, social media influencer how much do you think for two hours uh, talk how much do you think uh, they should be paid or uh, if it's an artist a celebrity uh, you just come up with a number that is logical okay so finally the conclusion and to a com so this is the references the references you can just use the references the references that you have from your portfolio uh, from your group discussion okay okay so this is the tentative of program if you are having a program for three days and two nights so you have to provide uh, the whole tentative for three days and two nights and if you're having it just one day, you just have to mention what is the whole one day program. Okay, so what is the budget? Uh, first is the hotel, the speaker, okay, just 1,000 ringgit. Wow, that is very, very cheap. Okay, so just be specific about the budget and the food. Okay, so this is the final budget. All right. So let's take a look at another uh, another sample. Okay, so this uh, it doesn't have a cover. So let's take a look at what the title, the the project is all about. The proposal is to have a program titled "Run for Your Life." So I think this is uh, like a fun run of a marathon uh, running kind of program. Okay, where uh, in Putrajaya? So what is the problem actually for? Uh, for this program can why do you have this kind of program so what is actually the problem that happens at the workplace okay so it is actually about sexual harassment based on the research that have been done regarding sexual harassment through surveys and interviews it is stated that the company have been dealing with this problem for the past few weeks so for the past few weeks it's not really um, it's not really urgent it only happened for the past few weeks so what you should put is for the past few years okay so it's, it shows that how urgent this issue needs to be handled needs to be dealt with okay so this um, so therefore to prevent the problems from happening our company has proposed the program called run for your life which is a health running activity and the objective is to spread awareness among the employees and hopefully from this program our company can prevent sexual harassment problems in the future so how does such uh, activity the fun run activity can actually uh, relate to sexual harassment well just having a fun run you usually when you join a fund run it's for a cause so when you have a cause when you say that it's for sexual harassment at the workplace you are actually raising awareness uh, so that is the relationship between a fund run and also the, the the workplace issue you are raising awareness so when people mm, join your fund run they will get uh, running medals they will get t-shirts so this t-shirt will show about uh, sexual harassment, preventing sexual harassment or stop being a victim, uh, something like that. So it's actually creating awareness, not just uh, sexual harassment, but when you're talking about fun run, it can be about cancer awareness. It can be about saving Palestine. Uh, it can be about uh, leading a healthy lifestyle, uh, stop smoking. Is it uh, related to Mother's Day, Father's Day, Teacher's Day? Uh, all can be a theme for a fun run. So such program is actually created to raise awareness about uh, certain issues or a certain cause okay so this is the problem 
so make sure that you have the collected data or the survey okay uh, so this is an example okay so then you have uh, obviously you have the uh, objective the significance of the event uh, the stuffing evaluation the program method and also the budget and the limitation finally with the conclusion and then you end it with references and also the budget and the, append the tentative of the event and also the budget as your appendix mm. okay so that is the total amount so we provide the sample of proposal in our Google Classroom, don't worry about it. And if you have anything that you want to ask related to the proposal, if you want to show the development of your, of your proposal before you actually submit it, then obviously I am free uh, for you to refer. Okay, So you can also always refer to me at any time. And as usual, you just have to wait for me to reply back to you sometimes. Sometimes I take a, a little bit of time for me to reply you back, but sometimes I reply you straight away. So it depends on the timing or the situation given. And obviously, as usual, if I forget to respond to you, please, please, please remind me again. Okay. Okay, you have to submit your proposal in Google Classroom by week 14 before everything ends. And as a final note, deep down, I would like to congratulate everybody for managing to complete all of the assignments, all of these assessments covering from assessment one, that is the pre-recorded video presentation, uh, followed by assessment two, that is the written assignment, um, followed by assessment three the group discussion the role play and finally this one the proposal okay so far elc has been a wonderful and a very joyful uh, subject for me to teach and i hope that this subject is not really um stressful for you uh, take it easy okay and carry marks will be shared soon as soon as i get the approval or the green light from Shah Alam that we are allowed to share the marks and then I will share it with you so as a final say I would like to, to wish everybody all the best for the rest of the semester if you have a final exam all the best for your final exam if you are having a internship or practical later good luck with your internship good luck your practical and also finally good, good luck with the rest of your uh, diploma years here in uitm okay and finally okay i would like to say that please do not wish it were easier wish you were better okay if it's difficult then you just have to improve yourself become better don't wish for things to be easier so do not lower the bar so that is all thank you very much and i wish all the best for all of you and personally i would like to say thank you for party for your participation and thank you for giving your utmost um, cooperation with this subject with me as well and i would like also to apologize for any shortcomings um, any jokes uh, you know given and all of the lessons that I've given to you uh, are saya halalkan semuanya then I wish all of you the best as long as you are a student I wish you all the best okay so don't stop learning you I I never stop learning so you should never stop learning make learning as something that is very fun for you to do okay so I think that is all thank you very much Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and insyaAllah um, ada rezeki kita jumpa lagi okey thank you assalamualaikum